Our protocol aims to study the relationship between eye movement metrics and cognitive function in a group of non-demented Parkinson's disease patients that suffer from both oculomotor and cognitive dysfunction. To design the trial images for the visual search task, use the numbers 4, 6, 7, and 9 exclusively. Ensure that the location of the target number is randomized from trial to trial, with the rule that each number cannot be in the same visual quadrant for more than three successive trials. Do not use ambiguous letters such as I and O, and set the size of the fixation cross, letters, and numbers at a 0.85 degree visual angle. Set the program to allow a time lapse of 1.5 seconds after enter is pressed before the display of the central fixation cross is switched to a trial image to begin a trial. Ensure that the screen will go blank with the fixation cross reappearing as the mouse is clicked or after 10 seconds have elapsed from the beginning of a trial, whichever is earlier. Then set the program to generate a CSV file that contains the timestamps of the beginning and end of each trial. After conducting a clinical diagnostic interview with the subject and, if available, their relatives, to exclude dementia and to screen for cognitive impairment using the Mini Mental State Examination and Montreal Cognitive Assessment, evaluate the subject's visual acuity with a Snellen chart. Then, in a quiet room with an adequate light source, set up a screen-based eye tracker for...